Hey there, it's uh, Bryce. Um, first off, I uh, want to apologize for the uh, chatter in the background. That's the radio. I'm here at work. I'm a paramedic, and uh, I can't turn that off because, well, there might be an emergency. So, anyways, uh, apologize ahead of time. Hopefully, it's not too distracting. What I want to show you here is the uh, trading view charts and how I have them set up. As you can see, I've got the pound New Zealand. I've got the 15 a uh, minute chart on the left here, then on the right I have the one hour and the uh, four hour charts. Now um, you can get a um, membership at TradingView for free. Uh, for the first 30 days they offer you the pro membership for free to try it out. Uh, you'll need that to do what I'm showing you. Uh, they give it to you for free for 30 days and at the end of 30 days if you don't want to continue with it or you're not sure uh, you can always use a new email address to sign up for another 30-day trial uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set alerts okay wait for that guy to quit talking I'll show you how to set up alerts uh, for when the price uh, touches a trend line and also for when the price uh, goes above 50 or below negative 50 on the <coughs> true strength index. Okay, now um, first off, how do you set your charts up like this? Well, up here, you click on this, and then you can click whatever configuration you want. This is the one I have selected, and then I've linked the symbol to all charts so that uh, if I Put a different uh, currency pair in it'll bring up all three charts for it okay now um, to get the true strength index on your chart uh, the one I'm using that was recommended to me uh, is the one done by a guy named lazy bear so the, the way you find that is you go up to the indicators okay and then you'll type in TSI and then uh, if you look down here indicator true strength index by lazy bear and I've clicked the uh, little star to add it to my favorites so if you click on favorites you'll see right there true strength index lazy bear okay and then once you add it to your chart then if you're um, following what Johan uh, teaches then you'll make it 5 and 8 and you can edit it by clicking on format and then inputs and you change that to a 5 and an 8 and if you want to tweak the appearance you can do that there okay all right so that's how you get the indicator on your chart okay now uh, I'm going to click right here to expand the 15 minute chart to take up the full screen okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a trend line so I'll go over here to this trend line tool and I will click here and then I'll drag oops I didn't do that right sorry I'm supposed to click and drag so once again click on the trend tool click and drag and then click again where you want it to end okay and um, then once you have the trend line uh, what as you can see here I drew this trend line from here to up here but you see I didn't catch the tips. Now that's not how you draw a trend line. You draw a trend line from the uh, the tip to the tip. But what I did is I drew the trend line, and then I had it highlighted, and then I went here, and I went copy, okay, and I copied it, and then I right click on the chart, and I go paste trend line, okay. Now you can do that if you want to keep your correct trend line and then create a new one in order to click and drag so that it's lower than the actual trend because I'm going to set an alert on this second trend line here. Okay, 
So the way you do that is you have it highlighted and you click on the alert button and then it pops up the alert menu and you can see it's the Pound New Zealand 15 minute chart when it crosses the trend line and I want it to go uh, I want the alert to happen once per bar when it meets, meets the condition and um, then I want it to send me a message uh, crossing trend line and I have clicked SMS send so I can even get a text message okay and then you go create and then voila the alert is created and you hear that that's the um, special sound I have on my iPhone for when I get a text message from trading view alerts so you saw how quickly that happened I got the text message immediately um, so um, I don't like having two trend lines so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the actual trend line okay and then I'm going to delete it okay so now I have um, all these trend lines on my charts and I have alerts set up for them now the really cool thing that I'm making this video uh, to do is to show you how to set alerts so that when the true strength index goes above the 50 line or below the negative 50 line you can get an alert. Now the way to do that is you go to um, the uh, set an alert tab. Right here on the right side you've got you know, your currency pairs and then you have your alerts tab. So you go to the set an alert tab and it'll make an alert on whatever chart you have selected. So as you can see here I've made alerts for the TSI on the 15 minute chart, the 1 hour chart and the 4 hour chart. So I have alerts personally set that when the TSI is above 50 or below negative 50 on the 15, the, the 1 hour or the 4 hour uh, pound New Zealand charts I'm going to get a message saying that it's crossed and that's really valuable if you like that indicator and you see an over uh, sold indication as a possibly good place to buy so uh, the way you do that is you're on whatever chart you want to set it for so in this case it's the uh, uh, British pound New Zealand and you just hit the plus button to uh, create a new alert okay so the condition is you want to make it to the lazy bears TSI set to 5 and 8 when it crosses a certain value so since I already have one for negative 50 I'm gonna make one for negative 40 just for this illustration and I don't want the alert to only happen once, I want the alert to happen every time the condition is met but only once per bar okay so the maximum I'll get this message is once every 15 minutes and that's assuming that the price would continually just cross that negative 50 line or negative 40 in this case and you can okay hopefully you can hear me over that radio um, so you can set expiration as you can see default expirations about a month ahead of time um, and uh, you can always come in and edit that later if this is an alert that you're gonna keep forever you can change the expiration time to whatever you want uh, so I have it set to show a pop-up to play a sound and also to send me a text message and then you can customize the message you receive it has a preset message but that preset message doesn't mention which pair or time frame so I've, I'm just gonna paste a message that I've made and you can customize this however you choose I just chose to receive a message saying town New Zealand 15 minute chart TSI is oversold question mark buy okay and I have mine set for negative 50 but for this illustration I've just set it here to 40 so then you just hit create and then voila if you look down here you can see these alerts if I mouse over here 
you can see the alert here for when it crosses the 50 is pound New Zealand 50 minute chart overbought. Should I sell? Question mark to myself. And here's the one I set for negative 50. And then here's the one we just created together for negative 40. Okay, so I don't want that negative 41, so I just right click on it and I can edit it, but I'm not going to edit it, I'm just going to delete it. Okay. So that is how you do it. If you need to understand more about alerts, uh, the Trading View uh, has a help section here. They have a wiki where you can learn all about um, everything that has to do with Trading View. And if you have any questions, uh, don't. Oh, look at this. We just get an alert right now. See, that's the alert in action. Right here, the negative 50 line, it alerted. And uh, so, uh, if I was going to buy this, I would uh, be looking for it to come even lower. And uh, it might possibly take a buy here. So, you get to see it in action. That's how the alert works. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.